Texas Mini Slash 4x4. This is the mini all-wheel drive slash that's based on the E-Revo platform. So it's technically a mini E-Slayer. This is the XL 2.5 version. And it's at my little backyard RC track. I can't go full throttle with this thing, even if I wanted to. I can only go full throttle on the straightaway because if I go full throttle, it flips over easily. And it's a small little 116 scale truck, so it's not really going to fare so well on this kind of terrain. This one's mainly meant for tent scales. But it can get around the track just fine. Oh. Yeah, it can get around the track just fine. But, uh, and it flipped over. Quite bouncy. <laughs> yeah, the rollovers. I am actually going to go ahead and switch this back to an E Revo because I do have the parts still with me. Uh, but uh, I just want to show you guys a little video on it because you've never actually seen a single video of my mini slash because this is literally just my e revo that's been converted to a mini slash so you'll see more videos of these uh, this one running around Although it can get around the track, it just doesn't like it though. It's bumpy, too bumpy actually. <laughs> and I can understand why people don't like the mini slash. If you take a turn way too hard, it flips over. I'll show you that one more time. Well, I guess the real benefit is you've got a big body on there and absorbs most of that impact. Hmm, speaking of which, since this thing is, can easily flip over.
Uh oh, battery's dying. Oops. Yeah, you gotta be really gentle when you're going around the turns with this thing. This thing likes to flip over. Just due to his short we um, track width, the E Revo um, never had that problem. But if you're really gentle at it, you will get around the track just fine. 